Hey, what's going on guys? Wild Fox Vaughn Service here, back with another video, and today we're actually going to be doing another video for the Landscape Trailer Build Series. And as you guys already know from the title of this video, this one's going to be based on painting trailer tires. And I'm feeling Alright, so before we get into it, I just want to show you guys the different tools or things you're going to need to complete this. You're going to need some paint and primer, or in my case, I'm just using a bed liner, so I just need that. A wire wheel, and sandpaper, but if you don't have the wire wheel, you can just use sandpaper. A drill, if you guys have one for the wire wheel. Some rubbing alcohol, or just some cleaning soapy water. Some paper towels, or a rag. And last, but certainly not least, guys, you're going to want to make sure you have your index cards. I actually learned this trick from Kevin with Fall River. He did a really similar video to this. And he drained the air out of tires and stuck these little cards all the way around. Absolutely genius, guys. Alright, so now that we know what we're going to be using for today's project, let's get right to it. <music> I hope you guys saw there, but after sanding everything down, you want to take your brush and just brush all the dust off from all the paint that you removed or any rust that you removed. You want to get all that off your tires to get ready for the next step, which is going to be take some rubbing alcohol or water and a rag or in my case paper towels and wipe everything down and get it all clean. And I'm using rubbing alcohol because it disinfects, um, but also it'll dry quickly and get it ready for paint. Check that out guys, just finished doing it. I got three rags that look just like that from both the tires here. That's pretty gross. And that's why you guys want to make sure to take that step to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol or water with either paper towels or rag. Because it's really important you get all that off so the paint can stick really well. And now what you guys want to do is get the air out of your tires a decent bit. It's much easier to stick these in around the rim if the air is out. Now if you have a valve stem remover you can always do that. I don't have that so I have to do it the hard way. Alright, so now we got the air out of the tires, guys. What you're going to want to do is take all those index cards and put them around the tire like this here. And it'll make a complete barrier going around. So when you paint, you won't get anything on the tire. It's super duper simple, guys. It was absolutely genius of Kevin with Fall River to think of it. Um, so thanks for that idea, Kevin. <laughs> Now we've done all those other steps, you're ready to paint. Just make sure to read the instructions and follow what the can says in order to get a good spray coat. Alright, so since coat one is done, and you just want to put a nice light coat on it, this goes to either paint or primer, but remember, since I'm using bed liner, I'm only going to be using this. I tried not to overspray, I did in one spot a little bit, but I'm trying to go very nice light coat. You want to let it dry for a bit, maybe a 20 minutes or so, depending on what your cape, man, cape pan says. And then your second coat is when you really start to see a difference in color. Your paint will stick a little bit better and fill in all the other spots you didn't get the first time around. Just keep that in mind, you're probably going to want to do three or four light coats of paint for your wheels. Probably two coats of paint with primer if you're doing paint and primer. So I just finished giving coat number one a little bit of time to dry, and now it's completely dried on to the rims, so now it's time for coat number two.
All right, so check it out, guys. I ended up putting four coats in each of these tires, and now it's completely cured. I let it sit for about 12 or uh, 15 hours, something like that, to cure. And now that it has completely dried and hardened, I'm going to take out all the post-it notes as well as the tape around that. All right, so check it out, guys. Here's the finished product. Now, I actually also ride a line my trailer, so it's gonna make an awesome blackout look for the whole thing. As well as when I put black wood sides on it, it's gonna black out the whole thing. And really, the bed line is gonna make this a lot more durable. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think these things actually turned out looking pretty sweet. Uh, the middle there is rusted. It's the actual the hub, I guess, is what it would be. Uh, I did not paint that with vinyl liner. I might go back and do it. Not sure yet. It definitely would look nicer if I did it. But at the same time, I don't know if I'm really that worried about it. Because in the end, it's just a landscape trailer. It's gonna get beat up, scratched. Up. This is just to protect it and make it look a little bit nicer. Now the tires actually only took one can of paint to do, both of them, and the whole trailer itself, when I did paint this, only took a total of five cans between that and the tire. So four cans for the trailer, one can for the tires. And that was with three coats on the trailer and four coats on the tires. Let me know guys down in the comments down below if you guys think you're going to be doing this to your tires or if you don't like them, maybe you're not. If you guys don't like them, doesn't matter. Share them down below anyway. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I actually, I like uh, black over white, but my favorite color for the wheels for trailers is the gray, like you get on some enclosed trailers and whatnot. Absolutely love those color wheels. Uh, I don't know why, I just do. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you the next one. Peace.